Hi, welcome to Colleen's Diamond Painting. I have some unboxings for you today. I have one, two, three, four off, five off canvas, and one diamond painting. And it's a special shape. Um, I uh, unboxed this earlier because um, I was making it in the middle of the night and unfortunately the glare from my uh, camera mount um, made it impossible to see. So these are already opened. I know what they are and I know they're from my husband because of this one here. And this is my favorite. That's why I'm starting out with it. And I don't know if any of you have seen a couple of my um, shooting videos, but my husband and I do um, shoot for, for sport. Um, these are keychains, which I will show you in just a minute. Um, it comes with the lobster claws and chains. And it has one, two, three, four, and the fourth one is a revolver. It comes with special drills and it comes with um, like the extra special drills. So let me show you the specials first. We have gold, we have a brown gold, we have a silver, we have the beautiful 310 uh, black, we have some blues, we have some gold domes, we have some gold marquees, and we have some iridescent marquees. Now, I don't know where he bought these uh, he, because he watches the same um, diamond painting channels that I do and he, uh, when I mentioned that I like something, he must have made note of it. So I can't give you um, information on where to get these or how much they cost. Uh, we have some iridescent big diamonds, which I think, well, I know, go on the number six here, the big, the biggest one there. We have some um, pink, green, and purple iridescents. We have some, uh, oh, marquees. These are marquees. We have some blue marquees. And then we have these um, ones with the little stars in them that are imprinted in them. And they're like a, a white iridescent. They're really pretty. And let me put these all away so that I don't lose anything. Take but a second here. And I'll show you the next project. Okay, this one I kind of put haphazardly in the bag. So I apologize for the mess here. Um, these are specials too, so we'll go over the colors. Um, this is a coaster set. And it comes with a coaster holder and it comes with the it comes with the uh, cork boards that you peel off and put on the back of the coasters that you paint the part that you paint and let me start off with my favorite one Well, actually, I think this is my favorite one. The one with the top hat. That's really cute. He's a blue guy. Then we have a little girl owl with pink sunglasses. 
Uh, another uh, girl doll with a pink dress and a flower in her hair. Then we have one that's all bundled up for cold weather. And then we have another little girl with a flower. And I really like this one too. This one is actually my second favorite, second, second only to the one with the top hat. So let's go over the colors. Let's start at this end. We have the clear, um, clear silver rhinestones, two bags of those. We have some reds, we have some pinks, we have some hot pink, we have some orange, we have some yellow, we have some gold, we have some green, we have a dark green, we have an aqua blue, we have a true blue, we have a brown, we have regular 310 blacks, we have pink, some more aqua blue, some green, some red, and then these really pretty little pearls. So that's the owl poster set. We are doing our whole living room in owls. Um, I think I've mentioned that in other videos. And when I finish my owl painting, I have another owl painting on the way, um, which I bought from Mary's Diamonds. And that one is of a white owl. And uh, so I, the brown owl will be the male owl and the white um, owl will be the female owl. So this project requires some assembly. It is a snowman with a reindeer and a penguin, a sleigh, some gifts, and a gift in his hand. Let me open it up and show you. Um, there is some assembly required. This is special drill also, so we'll go over the colors. There's not as many. So basically what this is, Here's the snowman, the penguin, the reindeer, sleigh, gifts, present. And um, there's two sides to it. They're mirror images of each other. And then there's a um, plastic piece that goes in between the two. Uh, there's a film, a layer of plastic film on here that you peel off and then you stick this here and then you stick this one on top like that and then you put this piece in here and then when it's all together it will fit on this and stand like that so i really like that it's cute i'm actually going to work on this friday so I can start decorating my house for Christmas. Okay, so now I got this in, I can't get it out. There we go. Let me go over the colors with you. We have a yellow. We have black, like a blue black. We have yellow. We have um, kind of a teal, a pink, orange, an orange, a green, a black, a brown, some vibrant reds here, some gold, some pink, some orange, some more three tens, and some of the clear uh, crystal. And the difference between these two blacks is that I think these are regular 310s, and these ones have a silver back on them. So there is a little difference. Let me put this back in the package, and we'll move along to the next project. It's always harder to get them back in the box 
then when you took it out, does anyone else have that problem? I know I do. Um, I will fit, fandangle that later for um, time purposes here. Okay, the next project, since I already took it apart, this one came in a box. Everything came with a regular toolkit too. A regular toolkit, and it came in a box that says cartoon LED diamond painting. And what this is, is a music box. So um, this is the music, the thing that makes the music. I'm sure you all remember those. This is where your batteries go. I'm not sure what size they take, but I will find out. Um, this has specials too, regular toolkit. Okay, so it has instructions, luckily. So it has instructions on how to put it together. So basically what I think happens is this is the bottom and the, um, the uh, music maker goes there and the uh, turnstile goes there too. And then on top of that, I don't know why this piece doesn't go on, but I'm thinking this goes second. And then this, this one you actually diamond paint. And then here is the owl. And then you stick the owl in here, which I'm not sure I'll be able to do because they have the stickers on them right now. And I don't really wanna force it. So that it stands like that sits on the turnstile and the music and battery pack go underneath. Let me it comes with um, a screwdriver, some plastic pieces and some little tiny um, poles and screws that you put it all together with, which I'm sure are on the instructions. Here's more uh, screws and the little plastic poles. Now let me show you the diamonds. Now they have two sets of diamonds. I think one is for the base and the other is for the owl. And I'm not sure which is which, but they are labeled. I'm assuming this one, this one is for the base. So we have some red, some gold, some sky blue, some orange, and some red uh, shiny marquees. This one is for the base because I see uh, right here, those are the, where the red ones go. So the ones for the owl, are these ones here. We have a light blue, we have a dark blue, we have a pink, we have a vibrant red, a very vibrant red. We have some orange, some orange, some of my favorite crystal clear ones. We have some gold and we have some green. Now for the really special ones. And there's quite a few of them. These are really pretty. Let's start by looking at these ones. They're like gold shards. Then we have, let's see what side you can see them better on. They're kind of all mixed up. Some uh, gold marquees. We have four of these, uh, they're like pink, but they're also purple and yellow in the light. 
we have some gold marquees. These are really pretty too. We have some uh, slivers again, um, which are blue and purple. Then we have some blue bigger rhinestones. And then we have some purple marquees. So um, I think this will look really pretty when it's all put together. Um, I wish I could play the song, but I don't have batteries right now. Uh, maybe when I do a completion review, um, I will turn it on for you and you can hear the song. Let me put this project away. Got lots of parts. I don't want to lose anything. Lots and lots of parts. So this is definitely one I'm going to need my husband's help on. Which he'll be thrilled. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. This is the last of the um, off canvas projects. Again, keeping with the owl theme, it is an owl clock. Get the whole thing in view there. And it comes with toolkit. It comes with the um, hands for the clock. And then it comes with the special drills, which I'm not sure I want to take out because they're in baggies. Let me see how complicated it would be. Let's live dangerously here. Let me move this out of the way so that we can see the colors. We have some gold. We have some black. We have some really pretty iridescent, bigger rounds. We have some really pretty pearls that are round. We have some itty bitty orange marquees. We have some pink and orange uh, marquees. Oh boy, these are the fun ones. These tiny, tiny teardrops. And if you've worked with them, you know what I mean. And oh boy, here's some more. Only these ones are in silver and there's a lot of them. We have some blue specials, rhinestones. We have some pink. We have some red. We have some blue, the aqua blue, the pretty aqua blue. My favorite color, we have purple. Then we have these itty bitty pearls. And then we have uh, some silvers and the back is black on that. So let me put this one away. I'm gonna keep it in its box so that everything stays together. I'm actually gonna put it back in the bag too. Because with dogs, you never know what they're going to do. Especially with male dogs. My dogs are house trained, but I had one incident where they did mess up one of my paintings. Okay, let's see where the regular painting is. Where did I put that? Here it is. Okay, this is a special shape. Oh, there's something extra in here too that I forgot. Regular toolkit. Let's start with the smaller project first. Um, these are the drills. They're regular drills. I'm not going to take them out. There's lots of blues, reds, greens, whites, purples, yellows, browns. So those are the colors, some gray. So I don't want to take those apart, but let me show you these. They are stickers and they are nautical stickers. 
So we have a treasure chest, some shells, some sea seashells, some uh or that's a starfish, seashells, sea gulls, and a life preserver. Then on the second sheet, we have some seahorses, some dolphins. I think that's a dory fish, a dora fish, um, an orca, some shells, a starfish. And then on this one, we have some lighthouses, another seagull, and shells. And then this one, we have an anchor a wheel, um, some kind of nautical instrument, I think that's a compass, some shells, and two ships. So I thought it would be different to do something um, nautical. I've never done anything with a nautical theme. Let me make sure to put this in a bag with the drills so they don't get separated. So bear with me a minute here. Actually, this bag is bigger. Let me put it in this one. I want to keep everything together. Why is it always so hard to get them back in? Okay. So last but not least, we come to the diamond painting. Um, I did say that it was a special shape. Um, it is a 30 by 30. And it is of a hummingbird with a moon and some flowers here and here and some leaves. This one has really pretty drills as well. They are very vibrant. We have some pinks. We have some gold. We have some bright green. We have some hot pink. We have some gold, uh, bigger rhinestones. We have some pink and yellow uh, marquees. Again, pink and yellow, but they're, um, oh, sorry, these are teardrops, and then these are marquees, and then these ones I absolutely love, uh, the little roses. Um, if you saw my unboxing, or my completion review of my ballerina, um, she had the same ones, and I absolutely love them. And then we have some green marquees. So that is my early... Christmas present. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to become part of Colleen's Diamond Painting Friends and Family, hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to help me grow my audience, please consider um, hitting the share button. Uh, I thank you for joining me. I noticed we have a lot of, or I have, a lot of new subscribers so I want to thank my new subscribers and I want to thank uh, those of you who have been with me and continue to watch and uh, thank you as always for watching um, have a nice day and as always make it count goodbye